Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bar Shem, Yahweh Shai, Bar Shem, Ar Rakar, Kudash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. And Shalom to the whole four elect, this is of the Jim, it's London Camp, and this is News on Prophecy, Prophecy and News. I've got an article here from um, Zero Edge, and the title reads UK hiring CV19 marshals to patrol streets until 2023, despite lockdown restrictions supposedly supposedly ending in june all right so this is this is signs of the times basically all right we're moving to a time of um basically martial law all right and um as true to um esau's nature all right it tells you in the book of revelations um the 20th chapter that you'll be let loose for a little season to basically deceive the nations all right so this is all part of Esau's deception, all right? Lulling the people, walking the people down into a totalitarian um, state of affairs where he has uh, full rulership over the earth. I mean, yeah, well, that's what he's aiming for. He wants full rulership over the earth. He knows everything you're doing. Everything you do is minded. You can't do it without um, him not knowing. And that's, that's what it's moving to. These are them steps being made to move towards him establishing his enterprise, which ain't going to be fulfilled because Yahweh Bar Shem El Shai, Bar Shem El Rakar Kudash, according to his will, says otherwise. So let me get into this. Government councils in the UK are hiring CV19 marshals to patrol streets for, from July until the end of 2023. Even that lets you know the dynamic, all right? Because that shows you that, you know, the CV19 is here to stay. All right, this ain't saying even there's another thing. I believe I did a video on it a while ago about they've, they've called this, they've stated that this decade should be known as the decade of change. All right, or something to that. I can't remember it right now, I'll look for it in a, in a moment. But basically, it's a decade of change. All right, so it says government councils in the UK. Yeah, let me see actually. Decade of Health, that's it. I remember now, I believe, over here in the UK. Yep. So they've they've named it. Yeah, I visited it a while ago. Um, Decade of Health, health um, where they basically want to improve health. Let me quickly read it. So this shows you the whole thing that they keep saying, we're going to be back to normal, everything. They let you know from the jump when they said the new normal. Why are they got to say a new normal before there's even any vaccines or anything like that? It should let you know that this is all part of the agenda, the plan, all right? And the fact that they had this going on, because I heard the adverts while I was on the plantation, basically, on the radio, and I was like, damn, like they're really rolling this out. In the in in to the tail end of, of the of the to, year twenty twenty, all right. But I let you know this is part of their agenda. They ain't looking to make it go away, all right. This is here to stay. They're moving into their NWO both basically. So it says, uh, decadehealth.co.uk. Share our vision. It says our vision is a future. It's of a future where the UK is healthier, stronger, and safer because countries around the world countries around the world so this is a global enterprise are working together to tackle the most important health challenges like pandemics and preventable diseases all right and the cv19 is known as a, a virus but this lets you know that more fully could follow man to make this future a reality we need you to support the uk to continue prioritizing health and innovation and collaboration with the rest of the world all right so um those are the people that are involved and guess ooh, look who's right there at the top the first people all right i ain't even gonna say nothing because you can see it so anyway let's get back to this article 
So um, it says um, a new army of CV19 marshals is being recruited for roles that could last until 2023, despite government plans to lift all remaining restrictions on June 21st. Councils around the country are advertising jobs to do that do not begin until July, several days after the supposed Freedom Day. All right, so it shows you, you ain't free, man. <laughs> Give me free. You ain't getting free. All right, they got a power that they've been waiting to. That they've been, you know, nash, um, salivating at the mouth to get, and they finally got it. They ain't letting it go. Never let a good crisis go to waste, as the uh, one of the elites has said. It says one example in is Hertfordshire County Council, which is offering a contract of up to three million to firms that can supply sixty marshals from July first until the year, until January. 31st next year the contract comes with a possible one-year extension meaning marshals could still be patrolling until 2023 marshals and and we know how that goes with the possible extensions all right they've, they've been doing that with the whole um what's this thing called um furlough and all these different kind of things um renting paying later all that type of stuff all right the marshals will be tasked with ensuring compliance all right and helping the public understand regulations and guidance, despite the fact that all regulations are supposed to be terminated in eight weeks' time. We know that the virus is still circulating and will be for some time. We know from last year that numbers of infections can change rapidly and the and government are very clear and we should plan in case third wave of the in case a third wave around. I'm sure there's been like a sixth wave, man. From the way they've been talking over here, all right, it would be a uh, dereliction, dereliction of duty not to prepare for a third wave," said Jim McManus, director of public health for Hertfordshire County Council. Critics have accused the government of wasting taxpayer money and by allowing councils to use government grants to fund the, the program. To start hiring, hiring people based on the situation we faced last year before we have rolled out the vaccines does some does seem to be a waste of public money, said Mark Harper, MP, Tory chairman of the, uh, the CV19 recovery group. The fact that the CV uh, marshals will be patrolling the streets beyond June once again illustrates how the timetable to lift restrictions is completely phony. Yeah. Because there's an agenda at hand, all right, and this is where it is. Mm. Let me read a couple. So this is Revelations twelve and twelve. It reads, um, "Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, all right. And where we at? We're on the earth right now. So destruction. The word woe means destruction. Destruction is coming to to the earth." All right. So it says for the devil. Why? Why? Why is it? Why is it saying whoa? For the devil has come down unto you. Who's the devil? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, as he's re um, rebranded himself in these last days. All right. Headed by the banking elite families, the twelve banking elite families. All right. So it says for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. All right. So he's going to reveal himself in these last days because there's great wrath to come. All right. We're we're in the midst of the beginning. Of the hour of temptation, time of Jacob's trouble, all right, with all these things happening. But there's going to be a great wrath, all right. Jeremiah 15, Jeremiah 16 speaks about the manners of death. Sirach 39 speaks about angels being created for destruction. And Second Ezra the ninth chapter also goes into um, um, scourges being meant for amendment. Ooh, let me make sure I'm right on that. Uh, meant for amendment but the people not taking heed basically um, and let me try ah oh, I'm doing two imps so uh second edge of sixteen nineteen all right that's where it is it says the old famine plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment but if you read on it'll go into it all right so 
so it's Revelation 12 and 12. So it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. All right. Woe unto you, the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. All right. And that's why you're seeing this this happening is moving fast. All right. Though it tarry, wait for it, for it shall surely not tarry, for it shall come. All right. And that's why the Lord spoke about it as coming as a thief in the night. All right, for those that are not watching, if you're paying attention, if you're watching as well as praying, you'll be seeing in the news that there's a lot going on. All right, and with all this going on, we know that it's the time of the Lord revealing Himself in these last days. So this is Michael two and one. It says, "Woe, unto, woe to them that devise iniquity." So it says, "Destruction unto them." Even though it says, "Woe to the earth," you know, destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and sea. Ultimately. Those people that are going to bring about destruction, the devil, Esau, Edom, all right, the 12 bank elite families. This Micah is basically saying, through, with the spirit being under the inspiration of the Heavenly Father, is saying, Woe to them that devise iniquity. So the Heavenly Father set them up. It says, Woe to destruction unto them that devise iniquity. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Yeah, and that's what they're doing right now. It's in the power of their hand. And they're doing it to a, a greater degree because, as I read before in Revelations, the devil now and have, yeah, short, have a short time coming down for great wrath. All right, so he's going hard. So then we reading on, it says, um, uh, verse 2, and they covet fields. What did you see um, Bill Gates doing over there in the States? He took a lot of farmland. And all you got to do is put two and two together when he's saying about eating 3D steaks and everyone should take stop messing with beef because of the methane created in the air. Man, if there's all this carbon and it's a problem, all you need to do is plant more trees, all right? Trees benefit from carbon. But guess what? The devil ain't going to do that because they don't serve him for his agenda, all right? He's devising that iniquity and he's working evil that, he, that was on his bed. So anyway, reading on. And they that covet fills and take them by violence... And houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house even a man and his heritage and that's what he's done unto us all right in a place where it was said unto us we, we are not the children of the heavenly father it's going to be said that we are all right it's all part of prophecy it's a beautiful thing because at the end of the day the heavenly father is going to reveal us in the last days all right he's going to put a portion on us lord willing we be of that <laughs> be of that number man lord's going to raise us whoever's here in these last days is going to raise us up and we're going to be moving as it tells you in the book of Jeremiah 16 and 16, I'll send for many fishes and they shall fish them. And then I shall send for many hunters and they shall hunt them. All right. That's the law putting when the um, enemy cometh in as a flood, he'll rise up a standard against them. He give, they give, you know, the charge for us to wherever it is, whether it be angels delivering you from situations, the Lord putting the, some spiritual power on you, wherever the Lord wants to deal with you, all right? So they oppress, uh, verse 3, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold against the family, behold, behold against this family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks. And what's that family? Esau, Edom, the Edomites, all right? The Heavenly Father's got saying for them, all right? Neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil, all right? And it's evil because they're going to do evil, but they're going to be rendered evil as well. All right. So let me read on with this. It says, um, the fact that the CV, no, read on. So the phoniness is down to, it's an agenda. They've devised iniquity. Just like the UK government promised for months that it wouldn't introduce Maxine passports while secretly funding their creation, all right, because they funded them going as far back into the year 2020, around October or so, the state has been caught lying yet again, all right? They've been caught lying because they're doing things in secret, all right? Let me read this. Excuse me. So there's a book of Psalm 64 and 2. It reads, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. All right. And this is Job 9 and 24 tells you the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. If you want to be stupid and say, well, I don't know who's got the hand in the, 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 the world in the hand. All you need to do is go to Malachi, the first chapter. And it and it establishes that the evil is Esau, Edom. All right. Wherever they set up, they, wherever they set themselves up, that's the border of wickedness. 
So it says for the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. All right. That's the same iniquity spoke of in the book of Micah. Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. Yeah. All right. They, they've been establishing their agenda. Okay. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. And that's even with the Maxine passports. Because why? Why is that evil for them to have Maxine passports? Because it will determine whether you're allowed to function within society because you've had the Maxine. All right. Which the waxing which ultimately is to do is to dull out your um fuck man to dull out your um your uh your god gene all right to basically nullify it and make you have no um dealing with the heavenly father all right calcify your shit so it says um uh that they may shoot in secret at the perfect and even that's with that little sword that's, there's a secret inside it. It's a secret ingredient. It's the secret sauce. They ain't going to tell you what's in it because they want to they wanna do away with you. Remember remember these people keep saying about overpopulation, but they, but a lot of people ain't dealing with They ain't hearing it. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune at laying, of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see me? Who, who shall see them? All right. They search out iniquities. They accomplished a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and their heart is deep. Alright? That's where it is. That's what it is. Let's read on. So it says, um, in in all likelihood, fear mongering over a third wave of the, of the virus, despite the UK max, uh, vaccinating uh, virtually all of its vulnerable population, will be used to reintroduce lockdown. At the beginning of all, so you can see that they got a ball in motion, they got a pattern. So let me um dealing with the the title UK hair and COVID marshals. Let me read this last scripture and call it. End of the video, Lord willing. So it's a book of Second Ezra fifteen and seventeen and eighteen. It says a man shall desire to go into a city, and shall not be able. All right. Is ultimately what's gonna come because all this patrolling the streets. What what do you think they're patrol? Why do you think they're patrolling the streets? What what need would there be for them to patrol the streets? Are they gonna smile and say hi? How are you guys doing? You're right. No, because they wanna basically as a sheep sheep sheepdog do to the to the flock. They wanna knock them into whatever. It'll be determined at the time. But you know they ain't just going in vain just to be walking up and down and saying, yeah, you know, hi, how you doing? You all right? Whatever will happen will happen, all right? This is all part of limiting people's movements within the city, okay? If anything, you know, me speaking as a man's opinion, I believe they're getting, the, while the public is open to move and everything, they're getting people to be used to the idea of there being marshals around on the street. So possibly if they do go into a lockdown again, what could happen is then the marshals have certain uh, responsibilities, powers that are ordained onto them as to where if they find people out on the street, then you get a ticket, a fine. You may even get a prison sentence, whatever may have you, all right? But, you know, that I'm just speaking as a man, all right? So let me go back. To this so it says uh second is just fifteen seventeen a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride the city shall be troubled all right and that's what's gonna happen all right we're seeing you saw how it started off at the beginning of the the, the scamdemic with uh, panic buying all right everyone being locked up in their house all that type of stuff it's gonna come Lord willing it's gonna come back man. <laughs> So it says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. All right? So, Lord willing, this gets on and popping very soon, bro. Because um, it's looking like that, sis, brother. <laughs> you know? So, um, with that, I pray you're edified till the next one. I say, Shalom. Shalom.